So you're thinking about moving to Dayton, Ohio, and you want to know specifically how your property taxes can impact your affordability depending on which suburb or city you choose to live in. Well, you've come to the right place today. As usual, um, I am not on location. I am in the office. And I should say um, that when we do these videos in the office, they are um, more for an educational substance than they are um, a market specific substance. And so what we're gonna talk about today is how choosing the right or wrong community could impact the affordability or your overall payment, uh, depending on which area you choose to live in and hopefully add some um, insight to those of you looking to move into the Dayton area who don't know a lot about it because there are specific communities here in the Dayton area that if you choose them, um, you could significantly impact the amount of um, your monthly payment or the amount of home you could actually afford. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Before we do that, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living, working, breathing, eating, sleeping, anything Dayton, Ohio, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Dayton. Let's dive right in. And I don't want to go uh, too long on this video. I, I don't think it needs to be too long. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually dive into uh, three of our most popular suburbs here in the Dayton area. And I'm going to show you specifically um, three different properties that are very similar in price, in square footage and amenities and show you the difference um, in taxes in each one of those communities. Now, follow me here. The secret sauce- What's the secret sauce? This is not actually the city, and most people don't know this, it's the county. See, it's the county that collects the property taxes and the county uh, determines their own property tax rate. And um, one of the things that I've noticed about Ohio is um, it is amongst uh, the highest taxed uh, property tax rate in all of the United States. I believe it falls uh, at number 13 out of 50. So that is extremely high. So one of the things you want to know um, as interest rates start to rise and we get more price conscious, then you can make decisions about um, how you can go about saving money. And one of those things is um, choosing communities that have lower taxes or um, homes without uh, homeowners associations and those things. But today in, in today's video, we're going to specifically talk about um, the tax rate in three of our most popular communities. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, just explore uh, them one at a time. And the first community we're going to explore um, is uh, is is Centerville. And Center the reason why we want to explore Centerville, uh, most of you coming to uh, the channel are looking at moving to Dayton and you don't know a lot about the suburbs. And so um, Centerville is actually located in Montgomery County, which is where Dayton is. And we're going to look at two um, other counties as well to compare those against. But we're going to specifically start with Centerville and we're going to show you um, a home in Centerville. And keep in mind, all of these homes have similar uh, uh, attributes. And what I mean by that is what what we're looking at specifically uh, in comparing these homes to each other by is number one, the monthly taxes, right? That's why we're here. Um, number two uh, will be the square footage. Um, and then number three will be the um, sale price, right? Those are three of the most important attributes as it relates to comparing uh, similar style homes. And the first one we're looking at is a home at 6520 Imperial Woods road in Centerville. Uh, it is priced at $401,500. It has 2,770 square feet. And the monthly taxes on this property are $617 monthly. Now, if you look at 
$401,500 putting 20% down at 7% interest, which is roughly where interest rates are right now as we sit today here, October 25th, 2022. That gives you a monthly payment of $2,872, right? And that's, that's kind of your bread and butter uh, property here in the Centerville area. And then the, the thing to keep in mind here, remember, is uh, as as I said when I started the video, the, the, the secret sauce, what people don't know is, is the counties determine the tax rates. Uh, and so specifically as it relates to property taxes. And so Centerville has uh, a, a, a little bit higher tax rate than both uh, Montgomery and Green, or excuse me, than Warren and Green County. And then, so the next house that I want to look at is in Greene County, specifically in Beaver Creek. Again, one of our more popular suburbs. People love Beaver Creek, uh, specifically because it's very close uh, to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And in fact, some of the areas you don't even have to get on the highway to go to work if you work at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So the next home we're going to look at is 2720 Riverstone Court. Um, this is a newer construction home built in 2018, priced at $400,000, 2,928 square feet, and the monthly taxes on this property are $556. Now, if we look at uh, a monthly payment, monthly mortgage payment with 20% down on $400,000, adding in the $556 in taxes at a 7% interest rate, you're at $2,802 per month and so that is uh obviously a little bit lower than looking at the house in centerville uh at four hundred one thousand five hundred dollars with 20 percent down and that payment coming in at uh two thousand eight hundred and seventy two dollars so just over where it was in beaver creek here's why i really want you to pay close attention though uh, and any of you who've watched my videos know that I live in Springboro. And one of the reasons I live in Springboro is because the taxes are, um, what's the best way to say this? They're, they're extremely competitive. They're not low. Uh, if I look, you know, again, across the United States, there are definitely areas with lower property taxes. And certainly I don't know where you're coming in from, but comparing Warren County taxes to either Green or especially Montgomery, they're much lower. And you'll see as I go through some of the metrics on this particular house. So the next house we're looking at in Warren County, in Springboro, the address is 230 Clear Springs Drive. This house is priced at $442,000 even. It's 3,052 square feet. And the taxes, the monthly taxes on this property, $366, okay? So as you can see, the, the taxes in Springboro in Warren County are much lower than comparable properties in either Green or especially Montgomery. But here's where it gets really impactful is this house again is $442,000. And so that's $40,000 and some change higher than the house in Centerville or Beaver Creek, and the taxes are over $150 a month lower. So looking at a payment in Warren County, Springboro, for a $442,000 house, again, putting 20% down, the monthly taxes at $366 monthly, uh, and a 7% interest rate, $2,848. Guys, that's lower than the Centerville house with taxes at $617 on a $401,000 purchase. So super impactful. And where that really counts is we don't have a lot of inventory right now. And as you know, you get higher, certainly there's a little bit more inventory, but also we are we are in a market that's transitioning, but some property are uh, are still being sold at or above list price. And what's important about that $40,000 uh, gap is that that could potentially give you the extra room you need to win uh, a, a, a multiple offer situation so that you can ensure that you get your first pick. And so this is super important. I'm not trying to turn this into a long video and obviously I'll include a graphic here and I'm happy to answer any questions um, via email, phone, or text message. But I really wanted to see, I really wanted you to see how impactful it could be just 
uh, based on the area that you chose. And again, I don't, I don't do this to lead you in any specific direction, only to show you that, you know, as interest rates go up, which we, we know they are, that ultimately will uh, have a significant impact on your payment. If you want to look at options uh, that could immediately offset some of that cost, the best way to do it is either taxes uh, or homeowners associations, right? Because we know if you get into a situation where like we're seeing right here in Centerville, the taxes on a uh, similar property to the one in Springboro, $617 a month compared to $366 a month. That is a huge, huge difference uh, as it relates to the monthly payment. So this video again, more educational, and it is more, I think, in alignment with the climate of the market we are, we are in as people become more cost conscious and um, helping people come in and choose the right community so that they can find the very best home for them and their families. Guys, listen, I do these videos for one reason and one reason only, and that's to help educate. We know that educated buyers, they find the best properties, they find the best deals, and they ultimately end up in the best financial situations. And so this is just my give back to those of you who are trying to educate yourselves and learn more about the Dayton market. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader for the Love Ohio Living Team. We are the number one resource here on YouTube for real estate in Dayton, Ohio, bar none. We've served over 1,500 families over the last eight years, and we are truly humbled by that. We look forward to continue to helping families transition in and out of the Dayton area. It doesn't matter whether you're looking to move in the next nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Dayton. Thank you so much for watching and Stay tuned in to the rest of our videos.